Best show, you're on the air. Hi, is this the host? This is the host. Uh, and my name is Tom. I'm not just the the host. Oh yes, yes, Tom. Let me see if I'm if I'm saying this this correctly. This last name, Snorf Learning Torf Norpington. No, is that right? No, no, it's uh, Sharpling. Oh, my name is Adler Lansingdon. I'm calling from Upper Newbridge. Adler Lansingdon. Lansingdon. Dun. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, Adler, what, what can I do for you tonight? Look, I don't know if you're aware of this, but Bee Gees fans all over the world have been losing their collective crotch marbles and love purses these last few months over several heretofore unknown songs by the Bo Gibb that have been mentioned on your Cub Scout radio show. And speaking of music, we're talking about the dead. Yeah. I've been trying to find this one BG song, man. Maybe you can help. Okay. It, uh, it goes something like this. The verse goes like this. We were busy cocaine all night. And everything was feeling all right, bitch. But when morning came, you left my rail down the drain because you thought that you heard the cops. I think it's one of Morris's songs. I've never heard a Bee Gees song about someone flushing rails down the down the drain because they think the cops are coming. I think it must be on spirits having flown. I I I don't think that's a Bee Gees song. Well, the chorus goes something like this: "You got the music in me now. Let me put it right into you." Ew. Ugh, that's... Kind of baldy for those guys, right? What's that? Kind of baldy for those guys. Yeah, it is. That's a little baldy for the for the Bee Gees. That it sure is. Yeah. Oh no! Whoa. Oh, what? That's... What happened? Oh, man. What? What's wrong? I I spilled bottle water all over my wedding suit. Do you remember this Bee Gees song that that, that went? Go, you're being a bitch. And it's the last thing I need from you. I'm having no luck finding this thing on iTunes, and I'm 99% that sure that it's on the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack. Well, it's deaf, that is, you're, well, you're... Let you're, me sing it again. Go, you being a bitch, and it's the last thing I need from you. That I'm not is, sure which guy sang it. Well, it kind of sounds like you're doing uh, Barry. Merv. Who? Merv? Merv. There was no BG named Merv. Oh. Okay, well, look, I'm trying to find this particular song to sing at a wedding this weekend. You're singing at a wedding? I am. Okay. I think it's by the Brothers Gibb. Okay. But I'm having mucho difficulty finding it on iTunes. All right. I'm 90% certain it's on their album Size to, Sizes and Everything. So the Bee Gees have an album called Size Isn't Everything. Mid-90s. Okay. The song goes like this. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Maybe I can help place it for you. Okay. Oh, girl. Bitch, I come into the party and the first thing that crosses my mind is... Who am I going to fudge first? Who am I going to fudge first? Who am I going to fudge for? Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, it might be on Still Waters. I'll, I'll sing it for you if you'd like. Oh, I would, I would love that. All right, it, it goes something like this. Oh, girl, bitch, you got your panties in a bunch when you saw me having lunch with Sheila. You threw my car keys in a pool, and now I'm acting like a fool, trying to fish those bad boys out. I'm like 84% sure it's on Spicks and Specs. I was in Miami about 10 years ago, mm -hmm. and I get in the elevator. Who gets in after me? Who? Barry Gibb. From the, from the, uh... The world-famous Bee Gees. Sure. 
from the, the Bo Beatles. Gibb. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So I'm really nervous, just like you were with Patti Smith. Mm-hmm. But I, I want to make a connection, of course, you know, sure. like you did. Yeah, yeah. So I go, hey, Barry Gibb, because he, that's how you address an FT. You have to do it by their full name. That's like rule number one of FT interaction, right? FP interaction. FP yeah. is um, famous person. Famous person. Yeah. Yeah. And I get his attention, and I go, you know, there's a song of yours that I love, but I can't remember what album it's on. Mm-hmm. And he goes, Oh, how, how does the song go? So I start, I start singing. Girl, you're out of my, you're out of your mind, bitch. If you think you're getting half of my stuff. Uh huh. Uh And he looks at me like I'm crazy. Sure. And I go, I'll sing it again if you want. He goes, no, please don't. But I go, girl, you're out of your mind, bitch. If you think you're getting half of my stuff. And he is like climbing the walls of this thing. Sure. And I go, it's on Children of the World, right? I've been trying with no luck to find this duet that Cy Kernan from The Fix did with the Bee Gees in 1984. I'm sure you remember it. I'm almost positive it was on Spirits Having Flown, side one. Okay. It, 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 it went something like this. Oh, girl, I tried to reach the beach, bitch, but your love was like rocks in my swimming trunks. I've been dead in the water. Since I saw you having sex with Wayne Shorter from Weather Report. With Wayne Shorter from Weather Report. Yeah. And you got it had Reach the Beach in there, which was a fix album title. Yeah, that's that's the Cy Kernan part of it. Yeah, you know, there have been a bunch of callers uh over the last couple months who've who've mentioned these Bee Gees songs that I've never heard of and they'll sing like a snippet and the songs, like the lyrics seem really out of character uh, mm. for, for what I know the Bee Gees to be. Yes, that that's the word. And, and th- there's one that I guess is about one of their ladies getting it on with Roger Earl from Foghat. Uh-huh. That, sound, that sounds amazing. I've heard a portion of that one, sure. Yeah, um, but I'll tell you one thing I, I'm, I am certain of is that i got to get a hold of these songs before Lorden does. Who Who is Lorden? Lorden is my older brother. Um, he runs the Mirror Image Talent Agency. Mirror Image Talent Agency. I don't know what that is. You're joking. No, no I'm, I'm, I don't know what... The Mirror Image Talent Agency. Oh, no. okay. Well, see, um, Mirror Image is a talent agency for tr- tribute bands and singers. It, it's actually the biggest one of its kind in North America. Okay. Um, I mean, those... That's why it would be such a coup for me to get a hold of these BG songs that no one's heard yet. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, and all these people were talking about on your show. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not exactly sure why you getting these songs is a coup when it comes to this uh, tribute world. Well, they're not for me, silly weasel. Mm-hmm. No. Uh-huh. No, they're for BG's Wiz. Oh, okay. Wait, what is BG's, BG's Wiz? BG's Wiz. What is that? Well, it's like a play on G Wiz, right? Okay, BG's BG's Wiz? Yes. Okay. Rolls off the tongue, don't it? Uh-huh. And that is a what is BG's Wiz? That's a BG's tribute band that I manage. They're the best out there. I I I'm not I'm not just, you know, being a proud papa. My Morris is really bald. I like the other guys. Mhm. Okay. So you uh you so you work with your brother you're in the tribute band business? Good God, no! Who'd want to work for those farging ice holes? Okay, I don't know why you say it like that, but I also. So you wouldn't. So you're clearly you and your brother are not on good terms. If you'd mm. say that, 
Well, look, I I did work for him for several years, but you know, I had to basically I had to stretch my wings and fly like an eagle, like Steve Miller said, right? You know, I mean, he also said everything's better when wet, but that might be a topic for a later discussion, right? Ugh. Yuck. What? I not we're, That's not going to be a later discussion. It's man talk. Okay, well, not with me, it's not. Oh, okay. Man talk. Lesson learned. Okay, yeah. No, no thanks. Okay. Uh-huh. Thank you.